plays the thing wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs>
And so that it's kind of, it, she almost said at the beginning, she was like, this doesn't feel like Hamlet yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously we got into it. Uh, but you were introduced to Sharika Kapoor um, crossing the border. Uh, and it was, it, it was almost a, that's what I kind of want to talk about most about this uh, production <laughs> is because he started off and he was almost this really normal kind of guy. Soft spoken, Soft -spoken sweet kid. Soft spoken, sweet mm -hmm. kid. And then the meat and juice started coming. <laughs> and it happened, obviously, because in, in, in Hamlet, as you know, um, he, he's visited by his father's ghost. Mm -hmm. And that was really intriguing. And also loved that, uh, it's at Irvcon. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I did not either, I forgot, or I did not know he was in this. <laughs> I, I had that pleasant surprise as well. Yeah, I was like, um, oh, oh, it's yeah, him! Irvcon. 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 Yeah. Um, I was pleasantly surprised, uh, and then that's how they kind of in, implemented that the ghost uh, father revenge, uh, avenge me kind of. Yeah, the minute the minute he revealed his name. I was name, wondering how they were going to do that. Yeah, the minute they revealed his name as Rudar, I immediately went to my translation because I was I I thought based at that point on what I had seen the director do, I knew that was the Hindi word for ghost. Oh, you did? I knew it. Gotcha. And, but I, I had to confirm it. Yeah. In my heart, I thought, if he stays, because I've, I've got one word for this whole thing. Uh-huh. What is it? Masterpiece. Yes. The other word is brilliant. Yes. Uh, I will get emotional the other talking word about is this. Poop. Poop is a great <laughs> But I'm, I'm going to get emotional talking about this one. Mm -hmm. And because he was so brilliant, mm. and because he was so aware of every little nuance, not only of Hamlet, but of Shakespeare. I, I, the minute I saw the, the director, name, or the director, okay. the director, okay. I, I, the minute, the minute he said his name, I thought it's ghost. I guarantee it's ghost. Uh -huh. And I looked it up. So, yeah. Freaking brilliant. Yeah. Just, just brilliant. That was one of at least a hundred moments. This thing for me got from the get go. This thing for me, by the time I hit the middle, of the, of the movie, and I'll, I, I'm happy to elaborate all day long about this. It was so freaking brilliant and perfect uh -huh. that I was sitting on the edge of my seat begging it not to fail. Mm -hmm. It was on this tightrope of perfection, and I was like, please, just don't mess this up. Especially when it got to the end. Yeah. I'm just, I, when it got to the point where they do the play, I was so at that point overwhelmed. <laughs> oh yeah, that that was I think, and I could be wrong, when you were talking about Shirley Kapoor doing the play. Yes, it's the play where Hamlet's gonna do. Yeah, in, yeah, when in, he, he acts out what he's gonna do. Correct. Yeah, which in the actual play, which Stephanie told. It, yeah, <laughs> in, in the actual play, what for, and you may not know this as well. In the actual play, it's kind of the midway point of the thing. Hamlet's already been visited by the ghost of his father, but now he has this realization. And he's thinking to himself, wait a minute, maybe that wasn't the ghost of my father. Maybe that was a demon from hell sent to deceive me and cause me to sin and damn me to hell. How can I know whether or not the ghost that came to me was actually the ghost of my father, which is an angel from heaven wanting me to truly get revenge? Mm -hmm. Or am I being deceived? How can I figure it out? And as that happens, these players have come to the castle to play and do the, and he realizes I'll have the players put together a story just like the one my father's ghost told me and I'm going to watch my uncle and if he but blench, if he but blinks when we reenact the murder that no one else would know about, I'll know that it's a true ghost. We didn't get any of that. <laughs> we didn't get any of that. I just knew it was coming. Yeah. And when it came mm -hmm. and they did that, I literally at that point, remember I'm sitting on the edge of my seat saying, please don't screw this up because it's perfect. I started bawling. <laughs> I'm watching that moment and I've got tears streaming down my face. That's funny. My arms are out completely stretched out wide, watching and beholding this, this absolute perfection. And I said out loud, William, uh, William Shakespeare would be so proud. This freaking movie is one of the greatest motion pictures I've ever seen. That, and uh, that's what I was going to say. That, Just that scene by Sheree Kapoor um, is probably the best acting I've seen in Bollywood so far. Oh, this this was the first. This was the first. And now we've seen obviously. We've a, seen a, a lot ton of, of brilliant movie. stuff. 
But that, that this scene, was next level. That scene in particular was just from beginning to end in that scene. And then whenever, basically, from then on. Yes. Especially when he was talking to his mother. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> he was, because when, when she was talking to, uh, the, the mother was talking to him, and she was like, you used to protect me so much. She was like, and now my brother is touching her. Yes. <laughs> or not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like... But he was smiling while doing it. Yeah. And I was like, yes. Yes. <laughs> and there's choices an actor can make with this is either the actor or the director, which we can, again, I, I'm happy to be here for nine hours. Uh, Hamlet can be played so many different ways. Mm. He can be played as legitimately going crazy. He mm. can be played as he's feigning insanity. And Shakespeare meant that because Shakespeare created characters that you couldn't put in a box. They were like real people. This was the first time since Greek theater that actual flesh and blood was on stage. Mm -hmm. was with Shakespeare. And... Let's talk about another aspect of this that just is mind-boggling to me about the director, which I hope I pronounce his name right. It's Vishal Bardwaj. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah, it's definitely right. Vishal Bardwaj, who also, who also wrote it with another person, and the score was Vishal. Oh, okay. He did the score as well. Okay. Wherever you are, Vishal... <laughs> He's watching. There's nobody I've seen... Except for Lin-Manuel Miranda, and this is a completely different way to go. Yeah, but we're not talking about acting. One of the things, not now. One of the things about Shakespeare was that Shakespeare was able to contemporize English history and present it to the common people in a way that they'd never seen before. It was not just the telling of the story in the way that he did it, but in the flesh and blood presentation of it, taking history, contemporizing it, and speaking to them. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I don't even know the full of it, but based on what we've learned about Kashmir, Pakistan, mm -hmm. and those tensions, the way he was able to take the current situation and just the past few years mm -hmm. and make that the setting, as surely as Hamlet is set within these tensions politically, because the real Hamlet is like four and a half hours long <laughs> if you do the whole story, and there's a lot of political tension going on that's contemporary. I, I, pair, I compare him to Lin-Manuel Miranda because that's one of the brilliant things about Lin's Hamilton mm -hmm. is he's the first one of our generation to take something of American history and turn it into something contemporary by making it be, be hip-hop. Yeah. I, I, can't, I can't sing the praises enough. For him to take something as important and as powerful and as hard as Hamlet mm -hmm. all the way to the end, yeah. I mean all the way to the end, this is an absolute freaking masterpiece. Yeah. The, did you any parts you didn't like? No. There was one part I did. I liked every single frame of film. The two friends, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Yeah, I believe that's who they were playing. Yep, they were Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Uh, I didn't like them. I thought they were perfectly stupid. Yeah, but you can be perfectly stupid and have better acting. I believe that was intentional. I bet if you asked the director, he wanted them to be bad. If, if that's the Rosencrantz case... Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Well, I know, and I know Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, and I know them from uh, What's-His-Face and uh, Gary Oldman. Right. <laughs> yeah. And they're stupid, but yes. it's, it's well done. And so that's, that's... Maybe it's a different take. You can let us know if that's what he intended. But that, that was my one gripe with it. I didn't... I, I, I loved it when they died. Uh, <laughs> I was like, uh, good, don't it, have to see it, them anymore. It really... This is a weird comparison, I think, but... Uh, Tell me if this resonates. You also didn't like the headmaster in Three Idiots because he was too over the top and farcical. Yeah. I think it's for the same reason. And I think he did it for the same reason among others. I, I think he actually was portraying them the way, way Shakespeare intends for Rosencrantz and Guildenstern to be portrayed. I think Shakespeare's wrong. Yeah, I think I think if you <laughs> see if you see Rosencrantz and Guildenstern portrayed the way Shakespeare wanted them portrayed, and then content that's that's what I mean by Shakespeare would be so proud. I think he, he hit, he not only hit those nails on the head, he did little tiny touches like this. When the, uh, the uncle says to, we didn't even talk about Taboo yet. And no, yeah. How, and she's always brilliant. She's always brilliant. Literally, she has that charisma on screen that you just, you yes. she's on it. Yes. Even though she was very difficultly almost overshadowed by Shri Kapoor because yeah. he's, he's, performance especially after he went nutballs right um she was still like you're like oh, 
I think it's her eyes. It is. She has great, great eyes. It is. Um, but yeah, she she was phenomenal. The 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 brother in law was he was okay. Um, but he, the uncle who the, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, I'm not saying Claudius. Yeah, by those two, like the uh, whatever her name is and uh, Shri Kapoor uh-huh. uh, are I think the stars of this. Oh, for sure. Uh, but I I I the. K.K. Menon, I think is his name, okay. who played the Claudius character, which, yeah, yeah, was, yeah. which was Kuran Mir. Yeah. Uh, I loved him. Yeah. No, I, I, thought, I, I just, thought he was good. I, I just, it, I, I didn't, I don't think I loved him. I thought he was good. But um, the, little, the little things of, at one point he says to her, the, the, the uncle, the Claudius character says to Taboo, and he's referring to Hader, mm-hmm. and he refers to him as, and he's talking to her, he says, he's your little prince. Mm-hmm. That little, Hamlet's the prince of Denmark. Gotcha. That's just a little shout out right there. Uh, by the way, it's pronounced chutzpah. That's it's a Yiddish, Jewish, and they kept saying chutzpah, the chutzpah that you've got to oh, have I thought, chutzpah, I thought and that, that means I thought that was intentional. N- n- yeah, it, it probably was intentional to mispronounce it, but the actual pronunciation chutzpah. is chutzpah, chutzpah, yeah. which means you've got you got balls, you got guts, you're gonna do something ballsy if okay. you got chutzpah. Gotcha. Um, I I think that was intentional, which was not in the original Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did, and, and the, we could talk about the ending now. The uh, the ending I thought was so good. Obviously, the epic fight scene. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, and, and Hamlet just going ham on everybody. Yes. But then the thing I didn't see coming is that I thought she was going to kill us. I didn't know she was going to blow herself up. <laughs> I thought I was like because I thought the whole shooting gun thing was going to come back, right. which was which was. Crazy scene. To yes, see. <laughs> Which I loved yeah. it. Yeah, um, I did. But too. the uh, that that was so good. But uh, I didn't see that she was just gonna freaking blow herself up. I didn't need that. Not again. I'm waiting to see how they're gonna end it because I know how Hamlet ends. And if you don't know yeah, how, how did, Hamlet how did, ends, how did you like? Spoiler. Um, he dies. Yeah. Spoiler. It's a tragedy. Shakespeare's tragedy is pretty much everybody dies except yeah. the person telling the story. So how did you feel about him not dying? Well, I let me exp- everything. Here's what I was hoping. Mm-hmm. I was hoping you've been so different yet simultaneously honoring of Shakespeare. Don't end it like Shakespeare did. Mm-hmm. Stay true to what you've been doing. Keep this your own story while still honoring Shakespeare. Make it a tragedy, but give us another little curveball we didn't expect. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what he did. Mm-hmm. Because what happens is a duel. And I kind of was expecting to see the duel. So when Laertes died the way he died, I was like, okay, this is, again, we're different. And he coming out, because in, in the play, Gertrude's poisoned, Claudius is poisoned, Hamlet's poisoned, <laughs> from the tip of the... Dead. Everyone Everyone's dies. dead. From the original Game of Thrones. Poisoning. But the way this was done, this was another brilliant example of the director taking liberties that I think Shakespeare would say rock freaking on and making it about what yeah. is the present situation of that world right now. Because I think it, it, the, the, the re- that's what Shakespeare could do. He could take something that resonated deep in the heart of the people and their country and, and tell that story. And that's exactly what this director did. Little things like this. In Hamlet, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are asked by Claudius to take him away to London mm-hmm. where they're going to kill him mm-hmm. on the boat. Where were Rosencrantz and Guildenstern taking Hader in, in this film? Where? To an insane asylum. Mm. The parallel is the director is making a comparison that England and a nut house are the same. Ah. Uh. And I think on any Indian would be like, well done, my friend. <laughs> Tip of the cap to you. <laughs> England are nut jobs. We appreciate that. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't catch that one. Yeah. yeah uh, I did. Though I would watch this movie over and over again just for the acting, so, just so for the I writing. guess now we have to watch. I believe they're by the same director, but there's two other films. Freaking other Shakespeare's is an Othello one. Oth- is it Othello? And is it Macbeth? Yeah, it's Othello and Macbeth. Come on. So I I don't know. Turn it on. Please, yeah, please tell us <laughs> if it is by the same director. Um, if we should react to those trailers. Um, but, uh, that, I know they said this was, there was like a, a trilogy kind of thing. That right. They, they kind of just right. re- remade all these. So I don't know if it's by the same director, but let us know. Um, but yeah, we obviously both give this an A plus. Yeah. This, this epic it, film. And it, I, I, I would love to perform that one scene. Oh, I know you would. A thousand percent. A thousand percent you would. Yeah. And I, and this in closing, 
as much as I got emotional at that moment in the middle of the play when they're doing the the song and dance that is the revelation, mm -hmm. um, and I got so emotional and said Shakespeare would be so proud, I then again got so mad at myself and mad at our situation. There are so many people, golly, uh, thankfully we're, I'm recruiting people now. There's like people I know who are wanting to watch Indian film because of what's going on with the channel. Like asking me, okay, where do we start? They started off with, wow, what's going on with India? To, and I don't mean that in a negative way. That's how I would react. It's like, India, wow, what? And now they're seeing the seriousness of it and they're saying, okay, so where should I start watching? They love film. Mm -hmm. So I'm watching this thing and I'm thinking, how many other films are out there right now that I don't know about and that other people don't know well, about? Bollywood just put out, I believe it was 1900 films last year, so. Did they really? Yeah, there was, there was this list that somebody sent wow. me on Twitter. Like America put out, I think, eight or 900, China, like 700, and then India, they put out the most content of any country. I think it was, wow. about, I think it was about 1800 movies they put out La well, any, just any, last year. Anybody, this is a gift. And that's man. all of India, obviously. Anybody who loves Shakespeare and loves Hamlet and doesn't get to see this movie is being robbed. Mm -hmm. They're just being robbed because yeah. it is just um, definitely my flawless. favorite version of uh, any Shakespeare. I've ever Unquestionably, seen in my it mind. is. It, uh, it's West Side Story was the best attempt at taking a Shakespearean story yeah. and contemporizing it. Romeo and Juliet. Yes, Romeo and Juliet made and the most overrated Shakespeare play in my opinion. But it, yeah, comparatively, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the greatest adaptation of Hamlet I've ever seen, and I can't imagine it. Maybe done equally, never better. Yeah. Never better. This is as good as it gets to take, an, to take Hamlet and turn it into a current adaptation. It's absolutely The only incredible. actor I can see playing him here is Tom Hardy. You know who he reminded me of that could do it? Who? You'll agree. Who? Shia LaBeouf. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Shia could do it. It, had to be, it would have to be done. I believe he could. In the hands of the right director. Yeah. I believe he could. Yeah, Tom but would do it. The one I respected. know who could do it. He he would do it great, irrespective of who's directing. Yeah, um, and but Shia in the right hands with this director. Yeah, I'd say I would if he, yeah if he still but likes. I wouldn't want anybody else. Yeah, I want him in that. Movie. Yeah, sure. He, is, he is Hamlet. Everyone in that movie. We could talk about the acting forever because I thought it, the girl who played Ophelia I thought was brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, I just the whole supporting cast. The love and respect for Shakespeare, I just will sing the praises of this till I'm dead and thereafter. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. <laughs>